have to ask you both, what was it like being part of such an incredible cast? Being a part of this cast was kind of mind-blowing. Um, you watch these superstars um, all the time in the movies, and then you're on set getting to share moments with them. It was very surreal for me, and um, an absolute treat. I felt very, very honored to be part of this incredible cast. I mean, the cast that Tom Hooper assembled for this film, um, from the world-class dancers um, like Robbie in his area of ballet, you know, is at the top of the game, um, to world-class street dancers and um, hip-hop and, uh, I mean, uh, tap parkour. dancings and parkour. Like, it's incredible. And, like... There's like people like myself and James Corden who bring in the comedy. There's like legends of the screen like Dame Judi Dench, Suri and McKellen, Idris Elba. Um, we have amazing pop singers like Taylor Swift and Jason Derulo. Um, I'm there's so many you forget who. Jay Hud. Yeah, Jennifer Hudson, like Academy Award winning, just the voice. Um, who's amazing. Um, I think she's on the Voice now. Yeah. Um, but. Had just from in all areas of singing, dancing, and acting, you got some of the best the best people in the world, and it's just um, I personally feel very honoured to have been part of this cast and to have had this experience. Now I've read all about Capsicle. I wonder if you could tell me what that was like, and you know how it enhanced your performances. How. Well, Cat School, we started from the very first day. Uh, we had three and a half months of rehearsal, uh, putting the show together, and um, two hours a day was dedicated to Cat School, cat behavior, the, their, their physicality, the way they deal with um, um, uh, ranking amongst their tribe, um, the way they sense. It's, mm. it's so unnatural to us. Um, it's really fascinating. Um. Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed cat school. I was like, but I was looking around <laughs> when we were doing it. I was like, why isn't anyone else finding this funny? So it was pretty funny. But it really took it very seriously. Yeah, everyone took it real serious. And I was like, maybe that's why I've been apparently deemed the naughtiest cat at cat school. <laughs> but so thanks, um, Sarah. Um, but, I mean, I found it really interesting. It's, I mean, when else do you get to play a cat? And to try to play it very believably and really utilize that physicality, it was difficult because on top of that we had um, lot of the live singing and dancing for every single take. And um, and then also to have this unique source material, which is T.S. Eliot's poetry, like it's just a thing on top of a thing on top of a mm -hmm. thing. So, uh, But I think the end result is so artistic. Many layers. Mm. Can I ask you to, to set up for me how this is both an emotional journey as well as a highly amusing blast of a ride? Mm. Mm. I mean, Cats is, is very emotional, and I don't want to spoil what happens in the end, but, I mean, it gets you. It gets you. Uh, but apart from the, the emotion, which is really drawn out as well by Andrew Lloyd Webber's incredible score, um, there is so much fun. There's magic and there, there's comedy and, um, you know, there's lots of physical humour and gags in it. Uh, and not to mention just the dancing that's really flashy and um, it's just got it. It, keep, it just keeps it going throughout the whole film. It's such a fantasy world um, where you would have cat-human hybrids and to pull from human emotions and, and the idea of acceptance and inclusion, which tugs your heartstrings, but then to do it in such a whimsical, magical place where Rebel and James mm -hmm. Gordon just had us cackling on set. All the crew guys were just shaking behind the cameras at the two of them. Um, so it's, it's, it's heartfelt, yet it's this magical roller coaster of comedy and incredible dancing yeah and i think it's an iconic musical that's been loved by like billions of people and then now it's been turned into a musical for 2020 that's just it's just epic the scale of it the cast <clears throat> everything about it is epic and fun and magical and spectacular guys oh, oh sorry oh, carry on. i wish everyone could experience the set and what it was like mm. to be on that set. Like, the curb for the street is the same height as the seat of this chair. 
We were sitting on the curb of the street like it was a chair. Yeah. Um, it was, you talk about scale and it being massive. It was literally massive. Everything was mm -hmm. enormous. Um, and there's so much CGI in the film with our, with, our, with our bodies, but what I want people to know is that the set was very much as is. Mm. You know? Yeah, it was Wild. gorgeous. Thank you.